Now think of a cue word that would help you complete that scale successfully. Watch yourself execute this cue from the stands. What does it feel like to watch yourself now complete that skill in a way you're proud of? Now visualize yourself doing a skill and watch yourself execute that skill well. Now watch yourself from the stands. Watch yourself complete this skill and think about all the surroundings. What does it feel like? What does it look like? What does it feel like to watch yourself do something well? There are two major things that we try to accomplish every year. One is to create a culture where everybody is uh, super inclusive and super supportive. But on the other side of that equation is this whole uh, high standards, performance, outcome, like you have to win matches and uh, play well. I think it's really, really hard really, really hard to do both at a high level because when you raise one, you've got to raise the other. One thing about the season that is special for us is we have all these opportunities to, to spend a lot of time traveling with each other. Hoping you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. One of our season traditions, once we have our team set, is to go to Green Lake, Wisconsin. And uh, we cruise out there and we take everybody's phones away and we hang out for uh, two nights, three days uh, on the lake and uh, do a bunch of team building and uh, hang out and do some physical activity. We got to work with the Marines this year. They knew we were gonna have a change in routine and we walked down into this, into this beach and it's beautiful and there's a lake and green grass and some sand volleyball courts and they know they're gonna do a workout but they have no idea what's in store. They just proceeded to organize our group into teams and then run them through what is like a Navy SEAL um, training regiment. And so like uh, from that point, there was a sort of this new sense of camaraderie and like, okay, yeah, we're actually in the trenches together. The next weekend, we cruise right away to uh, San Antonio. I 
And people talk about the outcome being what happens on a court, but we spend way more time together traveling and, and hanging out together. And so just the, the trust, uh, yeah, that it's continued to build over all of those segments of time is, is really, really special. I mean, it's hours and hours in a hotel and hours and hours on a bus. And so when you spend that much time together, uh, the bonds do nothing but, but strengthen. So I think it's a testament to just our team's character and um, their shared vision of what they want the experience to be like. Every year there's a theme, and this year it was capture it. And we know that with uh, a bad camera, the best you can do is take bad photos. And uh, if you've got a expensive camera, there's a, a possibility of doing, of taking amazing photos. And the reality is that you've got to do a lot of work to learn how to use that camera to maximize its its ability. And so the camera this season was the analogy for our our mindset work and uh, we're all capable of amazing things and processing the world in a pretty uh, productive and beautiful way uh, but we've got to do a lot of work to make that a reality. Let's drive till the moon makes way for the sun tonight. Once you've got the, the skill to, to think the right way, to capture things the right way, uh, we've got to figure out how we want to frame things and so how big is that frame um, how focused in on it um, are we and then additionally like where's the focus so if we're focused on the wrong things it doesn't matter how it's framed uh, it's not going to be a great outcome and once the event has taken place or we've taken the photo you know what are the, the kind of filters we want to put on it and so our ability to respond to the things that that happen are going to dictate our outcome i'm gonna run wild did a great job of learning how to have the most productive and positive mindset. Uh, we framed things both as athletes and as humans as best we could. And the focus for the most part was in all the right places, which helped us find success when, when maybe uh, our backs were against the wall. And then regardless of result, to keep putting the most productive filter on each event helped us move forward after we found success and even after we faltered. And so when you look at the photo album that is this year, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of um, the way everybody translated the Capture It theme into uh, the reality of the season. biggest thing is how quickly can we look forward to and adapt to every single challenge that comes our way because they're going to come more frequently than anything we've experienced thus far, thus far um, this year, right? And so that's the, again, I just believe through my bones that that's the calling card of this team and what will help us find the most success throughout the course of the year. Relentless Pursuit is the framework that our program is built on and there are three components. One is mission. And so to do the internal work, know yourself, find out why you're doing what you're doing. So why am I going to school here? Why am I in this major? Why am I playing volleyball? Uh, why am I in these relationships? That's a critical thing. If we're more sure on why we're doing what we're doing, we'll be more resilient when there's adversity. And in all of those areas, there's surely gonna be some.
And then additionally, if we know who we are, we know why we're doing things, then we can actually set a path for where we want to go. And so all of those components are what make up mission for us. The second component is mindset. And so there's got to be this uh, psychological framework, the, the way in which we view the world that is really strong and also flexible. And so how are we in the department of optimism? Uh, are we looking for positive outcomes in everything that we're doing? Um, how are we doing in, in, in resilience and in, in grit? And so these controllables, do we understand what we can control and what we can't? And if we're good there, um, then we know that there's some additional skills that we can build. And so mindset skills like confidence and trust um, that as we're working with each other uh, and for each other, those can increase over time if we're intentional about our, our mindset and our actions. Uh, the third component of relentless pursuit is discipline. And so if we know who we are, uh, we've got these skills in place, and then we're doing all the right things for the right reasons. You know, do the actions that we undergo actually reinforce the things that we've said we want to do? And uh, everybody knows that we can improve there and do better there, but in general, do we have the discipline and habits in place to achieve what we want to achieve? Understanding that those are going to be moving targets as we move through a season and as we move through a student athlete playing career and for the rest of our lives, for crying out loud, can have a real um, impact on the quality of, of our lives and our relationships. And so when there's mission on lock and mindset skills are in a good place and discipline is rock solid, then we're in a state of relentless pursuit. And if any one of those falters, we just need to look to that and reinvest to make sure that we're um, upping the ante in that department so we can stay in the pursuit of what's possible for us. I won't let you down, I won't let you down. Support for our team and what our players feel and uh, know about what we can do for them as a staff, um, that's, that's a huge part of our relationship. Uh, trust is the other one, you know, and, uh, and family. And so like if I'm called dad, like that's the ultimate compliment for me. If, uh, you know, Bray is cuz and, 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 and Bear is like mama bear slash sister, you know, like uh, we're all in these sort of mentor family relationships. Time, that looks different and so whether that's accountability or discipline or humor or sarcasm you know like depending on the day and depending on the situation we're gonna get different things but um, yeah at the end of the day if our players know that we would go um, to the moon and back for them to get them where they want to go um, that's that's really what what we want out of that relationship oh, 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 Man, to our seniors, it would be way too much time to sit here and talk about each of your legacies. You'll always be my home team. But there is one thing that stands You'll out as a, a glaring commonality amongst all of you that is just simply uncommon. And your commitment to looking inward, doing the hard work about figuring out who the heck you are, paid off because you were then able to set a vision for yourself and a vision for this program. And if, if you don't do that work, um, we don't go to the same places that we went to. And I'll keep reminding you when the whole world feels so big so small and when you stop believing that you can be more I believe that you can
Cause I am your biggest fan And when the lights all turn up And the people all leave When you're looking for someone I promise you I'll still be there in the stair Cheering you on Cause I am your biggest fan We talk about Relentless Pursuit being this combination of mission, mindset, and, and discipline, and your dance around those three concepts throughout your your time here uh, has been a, a really beautiful thing. Keep on pushing To see those moments unfold in real time, uh, thanks to all of the amazing people that you have in your life, uh, has benefited this program and, and our staff and me personally more than you may ever know. And so with a huge amount of gratitude, uh, I just want to say thank you for your time and your dedication uh, to this program and everybody um, that's involved. We love you. Peace. <laughs>
at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what that's like. You don't know what it's going to entail, like how that mindset is going to shape the rest of your postseason play. Last eight teams, our final hosting site goes to Wisconsin Oshkosh, which comes to the NCAA tournament, maybe feeling a bit snake bitten, but as motivated as ever. team has been one of the best in the entire country this season in Division Three. At 37-1, the Titans are just three matches away from their first ever national title. And for the first time since 2009, they're headed to the Elite Eight. We're just going to keep the same mindset of it that we've kept throughout. Like, we just focus on ourselves. Like, we can scout a team as much as we want, but obviously they're going to be scouting us too. And then having a lot of trust in our teammates. Like, we get to play with our best friends, which is so fun. So we're obviously going to keep trying to extend that for the next three. We've been extremely grateful. Um, we love playing by each other. We have an amazing coaching staff, like, everyone surrounding us. Um, it was really special to play at home, for sure, to have a local support and, like, our family and friends be here. But, yeah, just playing together and extending our season has been awesome.
their feet now for three points as Oshkosh putting on the pressure. So Maneuvering around her center, and it's Sawyer, the match clinching kill. From the moment the ball drops in one season, you want it to, uh, you want to be right back in it, you know, the next year. And so you have these visions of what you want it to be in terms of outcome. We talk about goals of national championship or conference championship. So Figuring out how you want to do it and what cultural components you want to hang your hat on and what that's going to look like in real time and real space. Um, again, that's the thing that's the most magical. And so we love each other. We want to be in that space, working with each other. That's who you miss the most when you're not doing it. No matter what I know, I can't. I want to be there now. Like, I don't want to uh, wait days. I want to wake up tomorrow and have it be August 19 and be rocking and rolling. Uh, but the reality is, we got a bunch of time between now and then. And so we're going to maximize that time to the best of our ability. So when that day comes, we are as prepped as we can possibly be off and on a court as, as we can. We work really hard in the offseason, you know, additionally. And so to get there and prove what kind of work you've put in and then be challenged by opponent and schedule and figuring out the path to get where you want to go um, is, is the most magical part of every season. I can't let you go.